So from our little discussion, we're going to create a little, just a small topology or architecture where we have, say, a VPC, and we want to call that VPC, um, say, DevOps, so which is like a network, and then we'll give it, say, some boundary. So what we'll do is we'll go on create VPC. You could do it here, or you could go to your VPCs and you do create VPC. It doesn't matter. So either you do it at the dashboard level, or you go to your VPC and you do it. It doesn't really change anything. So I'll, I'll go to create VPC and it's asking me whether I need more than that. I'm just trying to create a VPC. If I choose VPC and others, then it means I'm trying to create the subnets and other things at the same time. But because we want to take it one step at a time, we just create VPC only. And we said the VPC is going to be called DevOps. So I'll say DevOps dash VPC. So normally you would want to give it a name that will make more sense to you and will be easy for you to understand. So let's leave this as the CIDR manual input, meaning we want to put our CIDR there. And then also we want to give a VPC, um, say some block. So let's say 10.0.0.0 zero slash say 16 and then we'll keep every information as it is and then we'll go to create so technically what i did was i created a vpc which is if i go to your vpcs now you could see that that vpc exists so yes it's called devops dash vpc and so under the devops that vpc what you could see here is that it's saying is it a default VPC? No, because it was something I customized. And also this is my CIDR that I gave it. And it's using the routing table. For now, we're not talking about routing tables, but the only thing you need to understand here is that we've created a box and that box has, say the network address of 10.0.0 slash 16.